morning everyone this is herb from the herb swamp and today we're going to be talking about the jabodakaba so the botanical name for the jabodakaba is well this is the sabra variety it's plinia cauliflora it needs anywhere between two to six hours of sun does great in part shade um actually if they get too much sun you could have some leaf scorch um, so you have to be very careful of that it likes very very moist soil borderline wet um, but I would definitely limit wet periods because despite what you hear wet soil can definitely kill this plant um, I actually had another one before this that was a, a lot larger a lot um, wider trunk and it sat in water just for too long because I thought that's what it liked so I'd be very careful make sure that it has Good, good drainage and uh, just keep an eye on that it's somewhat drought tolerant but as you can see here uh, there are a few little leaf tip burns um, and that's from drought periods so that's your first sign is the leaf tip burns I definitely watch out for that now when does it fruit um, kind of randomly throughout the year but I noticed that through transition periods so spring uh, fall and uh, sometimes during the winter if we have a mild winter or transition period during the winter we can definitely have some fruiting during those times the yield varies it can be very heavily yielding or it can be a light yield it really varies there's no real sequence to that uh, it does seem like after a dry period transitioning to a wet period there is heavy heavy yields it can sometimes even block the entire trunk the flavor is grape like uh, a lot of people compare it to muscadine grapes the skin can be a little bit bitter and resinous though so uh, for this particular variety that is the truth um, but there are other varieties such as the red that has thinner skin a less bitter flavor so this particular plant gets about 15 to 20 feet, sometimes 25 feet. It is self-fertile and uh, can take temps down to about 25 Fahrenheit. You can grow this typically between zones 9 and 11. All right, so this is the Sabra Jabodacaba. It's one of my favorites. It's beautiful, very ornamental. I'm going to keep you guys up to date on how this thing's doing. And... Signing off. This is Herb from the Herb Swamp. You guys have a good day.